hello guys welcome so yes i think that cora obidi and um yule doche are actually going to compete who is the one trying to drag the whole of 2020 with us because they're not resting since the beginning of this year is like on their matter from january anyways cora obidi has come out to say that she will never go back to her husband justin dean you know that she won't go back to him and that whether they give her thousands of dollars she will not go back she actually stopped on the road you know to drop her camera and talk to all of you that want her to go back to justin dean you guys watch her video used twenty thousand dollars to dash me to go back you know go up i said what i said some of you are trying to make it seem as if no i'm now do you think i'm gonna go back to a if you try to paint that nonsense image of oh my god look look at how she's suffering now she's crying she could look at the man the man is on cruise control she's crying let me tell you for free now i chukufunaya obidi first of her name last of her kind princess of oshimli north local government ibuzo princess i am not suffering divorce is not easy but i'm not suffering if you're trying to paint that, all oh, you men, <laughs> the man is on cruise, the woman is crying. Let me tell you something now. If you are in an abusive relationship, do yourself a favor and get out. Even if you used 20. So when I watched this video, the first thing that came to my mind was why? Why do people tell people to go back to marriages that they literally ran out of? I know that sometimes people talk about only physical abuse. We don't know all the details of what happened between Cora and Justin. But if person thought say not do again, literally use their two legs and run out of something that they said almost ended them. Leave them to be free. Life is not only about marriage. People can be alive and healthy and thriving without being married. So we might think that, oh, Justin did not probably hit her or she did not hit Justin. And that's the only kind of abuse. Do you know that people have actually stayed in abusive marriages and lost themselves? Like you go see person where you know like five years ago or ten years ago, and when you see the person on the street, you're like, ah, is this this neck I knew? Or this kind of is this this okay chair I knew? You understand? Like now this person who I know years ago that was a bubbly person, a person that was literally always happy, is this the same person? Marriage might have shrunk them, taking out everything from them. You know, the people who you see in marriage is when they get married, it becomes as if they don't have mouth again. They cannot talk. They are not their own person anymore because of abuse. It's not only about physical abuse in marriages. Other forms of abuse, they for marriage, we say, makes people lose themselves. So if Cora says that she has seen what she saw, that she doesn't want to go back again, even you give her plenty thousands of dollars, leave her alone. I don't know. I think people get very excited about these celebrity marriages sometimes. You cannot be more excited about somebody's marriage than the person that was in the marriage. Somebody was the one that slept in this on the same bed with their spouse. We are the one that woke up on the same bed to the person every morning, woke up and walked around the house with the person. The person is telling you that I don't want to be married to this person anymore. I don't want to be married to this person anymore. And yet you are like, oh, go, go into the marriage. You must be married to them. No, please don't do that. Society, like, I think we like marriage a little bit too much. Marriage is a beautiful institution. And if people that are inside love themselves, respect themselves, want to be together, thriving together, doing well together, beautiful. They can be together. But when it's not working, when they are always trying to... Um, end the, the other person when they can come out online and insult themselves for months and months on ending when they've told you that the other person was toxic please don't advise them to go back to the marriage this is why you see people that say oh he was abusive oh she ran away when she went back again the man finished her or uh, she she left the house once so she went back to her father's house the man came with people and came and begged you know and when they begged they not the woman okay she let her come back she now went back to the man and that was the end of the woman I feel like at this point, Cora has beautiful daughters to take care of. Daughters that she has to teach that they are more than any man can do anyhow with. You understand? Justin has those daughters too. So whoever did what to another person can actually thrive without being married to the other person. You guys get that, B? Uh -huh. So people should stop telling Cora to go back to marriage. Stop telling Justin to go back to Cora. You cannot love them more than they love themselves. You cannot love Cora for Justin more than Justin loves Cora for himself. We cannot love Justin for Cora more than Cora wants Justin for herself. Can people just please leave them alone to just, you know, do what they want, they've chosen to do. They are alive. That's the most important thing. Everybody's seen now trying to heal through the hurt that they went through. That's the best thing that they can do for themselves. Let me know your thoughts are in the comment section. Is the real strong. I thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you know what to do. Like it, like it, like it. Turn on the bell and subscribe. I will see you in my next video. Bye.